with Jeff Rappaport. <laughs> <laughs> That's on your show. Yeah. Yeah. Tip for Jeff Rappaport. Yes. Are we on? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hi, welcome back to Slippery on the Tip with Jeff Rappaport. I'm Jeff Rappaport, and he's Slippery on the Tip. Yep. <laughs> oh, and you guys are here too. Hey! hey what's going on? on? Hey, this is Flash Engine Part Du. Deuce. Part Deuce. Douche. Part Douche. Part Douche. Douche. So, on a similar matter, um, if given a choice, would you guys rather eat Brian's ass or a tour with Winger? Tour with Winger. Tour with Winger. <laughs> <laughs> and why? Wait, wait, Winger? <laughs> you know who Winger is? I don't know, his ass is she's all over. Yeah, that song, she, she sang, he sang. Dude, you were probably older when that song came out. Yeah, I'm not as old as, well, everybody here. How old are you? 26. Oh, you're, you're one of the youngest. Yeah. We had young, youngins here last week. Can't you tell? My generation is the fat generation, so obviously. Uh, well, that would explain. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Well, you're a cable guy, right? Yeah, it explains it all. It explains my crack, but... I want... I want a good cable guy story. A good cable guy yeah. story? Alright, um, 1919 Chestnut in uh, Center City. There is a lady. When I walked into the, to the, to the apartment, uh, the smell was horrendous. Mm -hmm. Immediately. She couldn't answer the door herself. And, um, I understand why now. I walked in. Uh, first of all, I couldn't see her because there was junk piled on every corner that there just and cobwebs all over. It looked like a horror story. Right. I get all the way in and she's like, "I'm in here." And, and the more I'm hearing her, I'm thinking it's a he because of the voice. I get in there, a 450 pound or probably more than that lady sitting on the bed and half of her legs being eaten away by gangrene. Oh. 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 Why am I there? Because she couldn't turn her TV on. <laughs> I, I walked out of the apartment, puked in the hallway, and left. The end. <laughs> yeah, that's, have you ever been seduced? Like, give me free HBO, here's my nutsack. Nah, <laughs> nah, I get, I, get ho I get hooted at sometimes. Like, the other day, this group of black ladies out in front of this house are like, Hey, would you, would you ever fuck a black chick? And I <laughs> If the shoe fits, I just got small shoes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. So, uh, which one is there, each of one of your favorite Smurfs? Smurfs? Yeah, and why? Well, Papa Smurf, of course, because he's, he's laying the smack down. I don't think I have one. You don't have a favorite Smurf? No, no, no. Everybody does. I like Handy Smurf. Handy Smurf? I agree with Is that guy likes hand jobs? What is that guy like? He's always whacking off. Either hit. Uh, Gargamel's not really a smurf though, if you think about it. Yeah, yeah, Gargamel's yeah, a bad guy. He roots yeah. for the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. Gargamel's the man. What's the cat's name? Azriel. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and cat rules still. He just takes so much crap See, off of that guy. He's like the other Batman. Right. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. the bitch. Azriel. He's the little bitch. He's too violent to be Batman. And he wore stupid armor. Like yeah. In the 90s. He was out of control. Yeah. Out of control. Do you guys think that uh, Gwyneth Paltrow is hot or just like a skanky or Which one's Gwyneth Paltrow? Ah, I haven't seen her. Did you see the Iron Man movies? Yeah. Oh, Pepper, Pepper Potts? Potts? Yeah. Oh, she's fucking hot. Yeah, yeah. she is. Just because, because she's Pepper Potts, though, really. I don't know about her uh, off the set, but... Off the set. The movie she's hot. Off the set. She is. Yeah? Yeah. A dumb twat? Yep. What makes a twat dumb? Why? She's a rich person that's not in tune with reality. Does she do a lot of cunting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, his wife came up with the term cunting. <laughs> like who, who will cunting? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and who would you guys say are, are uh, the most um, overrated and underrated bands in the underground? Overrated? In the underground. In the, oh, in the underground. Right. <laughs> Underrated, as an underdog status. Yeah, like more people should like they're just they're out there playing, and you're like, why the fuck these bands signed and doing good? And there's oh, a lot of really good ones. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I could actually say our buddy Sick Trust. Um, I don't know if you heard them, but they they're, they're really, really good. Really for the name. Yeah, um, great band. They're really damn good. They I think they should be signed. Um, there's just actually I, I, just from talent alone, I'd say that band Mistress. 
Yeah, Mr. is really good. Their singer's too. amazing, and uh, yeah, check. yeah. Check Mita's out. really a great player. Yeah, yeah he's Mita's, a great guitar he's, player. Uh, he's that dude that never wears a shirt, and he always has like six pack to hell. You know. <laughs> I want him to come and be on our show, and I want him to sit here with his shirt off. He will. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't I'm wear a shirt. Here, play guitar. That, why is that? That would be great. The the cover of their album. They call it Mistress. Or Mistress. What kind of metal do they play? They're more like eighties. Oh, I think I like it already. Yeah, yeah, where are they from? Uh, Delaware, Philly. Yeah, Delaware. Yeah. Remember the, that the name? cover? The they're cover of their really album is her punching him yeah. in the face with him in the shirt off because he never plays with the shirt on. He's gonna. I'm gonna tell him he has to come without a shirt on. He he. Even if he told him to come with a shirt on, I don't think he would. Yeah. <laughs> he really. This is very ironic. Big on his. Yeah, it's pretty humble. Right? Does she come with her shirt off too? Uh, no. Do you want to see her with her shirt off? I don't think there's many men that don't. Okay. Oh. It should be very hot. <laughs> I'm going to have my shirt off, too. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of really good bands that are over or underrated. Well, oh, what you say is an overrated band. I don't know what I say your name. Just say someone you don't play with often. <laughs> is there a band that you, you know, there might have been some Casket. What? <laughs> <laughs> I never even heard them. It's my friend's band. Yeah. So. There's this overrated band called Flesh Engine. Yeah. <laughs> They're the shit. Yeah. Um, underrated? I still think Power Theory is still underrated. They're a great band. They're signed. They're still, they're still underground. Well, I can tell you an overrated band. Who? They think they're fucking rock stars. Starscream. How <laughs> 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 Transformers. This uh, band that really hates cover bands. These are they horrible. Are. They're not even like just plain horrible. They're just like <laughs> up there. And they want to be worse. What kind of music do they play? The singer looks they're like, more like rock. The singer looks like Uncle Fester. Yeah, <laughs> so you don't like them at all? They're horrible. They just suck. <laughs> you guys agree? No comment. I, I never saw them live. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and if I did, I don't remember. That, if you're honest, I'm it. not staying in that comment. That's <laughs> yeah. Those guys are alright guys. I'm not saying they suck. <laughs> Starscream. Starscream. We're going to avoid them. We're going to go after that guy with the delicious abs. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to go. Wow. Uh, <laughs> It's gonna be really sexy. Uh, where where do you think are the best and worst places for metal now? Actually, uh, it used to be uh, Jersey was really good, and then Philly was bad. Now it looks like it's like teeter tottering. Yeah, yeah, Philly's getting a lot better. Philly's now. starting to pick up on the fucking shows now. We, you know, there's that big. Uh, I don't know if you've been to the Cherrywood. Yeah, in that rain. place yeah, was like amazing. In Blackwood, yeah, that, yeah, that place so used to awesome. be so amazing because all the metalheads just went there naturally, and then you got to play in front of like an audience and. You know, most of us local bands, the one thing we actually care about more than, we don't care about the money and stuff, we care about connecting with, you know, with the people and just having an audience, really. Mm -hmm. we, we, we're actually, you know, us local bands, I don't want to speak for everybody, but we're out there to fucking play. You know? We're not out there to make money. If we make a little bit of money, it usually goes right back into the fucking band so we can get gas in our truck and go to the next spot and fucking do it again. So that place was amazing for that, and then when it closed down, and it was, and like, it was decent too. Pennant was like the, the, the adopted red-headed stepchild of uh, yeah. Cherrywood, and that's down now, too. Yeah, that's going. Stadium Bar and Girls getting good, though. Yeah, that's not bad. That's We've got a, a lot of PA places. Like well. Dobbs is starting to get popular again. And Dobbs don't play much metal, though. That's true. We need a, we need a place in South Jersey, because there is none. Well, there was, like I said, there was a few yeah. in there. No, uh, 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 Sherby Burnt just talks and burnt literally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, Sherby's now doing uh, 38 West. What the hell's that? That's, uh, almost Cherry Hill? 38 West. Where the hell is it? 38 West. That's what it's called? In Cherry Hill? Cherry Unless Hill, you serve Rager Bob. What bands have played there? Bands there, bands by there right? They just started having bands there. Yeah, I'm looking more into this. Yeah. Talk to Dave Sherry. That name sounds familiar. Like oh, he's, he's got his, he's got he's his American side. In, He's in the local scene of hardcore. He was the one that actually ran the Cherrywood and yeah, he did all the running. He actually would and I know he heard his name before. Yeah. Yeah. He's been around for a while, and he always did it for like nothing. He did it just to yeah. get local bands out there and stuff. He, was, he, he made no money good. off of it whatsoever. Good for the cause. Right. Well, this question just for, is actually for you too. Did you guys realize that this is the exact same interview that I gave you 14 years ago? <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. You know why? Because I never read it. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, it was me and Jim that did the interview the yeah. last time. Yeah, I thought it would be fun to give you the exact same question and see if you notice. Nope. Just, I did so many interviews, I don't even remember half the ones. So I guess <laughs> the last and the most important question is, are you honored to appear on Metal Rules TV and why? Of course, why not? Anytime. We did, I did the magazine. 
did the radio station. That was really cool. Well, you actually gave a review for us on the radio mm -hmm. station. Now this, so we've been on all three. You have been. Yeah. Tell you the truth, uh, I, I'm honored to anybody that takes out their time of their uh, their valuable time to help promote us. Like I said, the only thing we as and I, like I said, I'll speak for a few local bands and saying the only thing we really care about is having an audience. And, the, and you guys being a radio show, a television show, all you care about is having an audience. The fact that we can mutually help each other with that, I think that's amazing, and I and I think that's great that you guys can have us on. Start crying. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot for coming on. You guys want to stay for the news? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Better rolls out.